We love the ocean, don't we? Here I am at the Atlantic. It's peaceful. It's nice today. It wasn't that way a few days ago, huh? I mean, we're standing here now, and, and this is where families have vacationed for years, and now they're left to clean up messes and damages like that. That's what happens when Mother Nature uh, just rises up. And I was in the middle of it. This is the first hurricane I have been on site. I've covered them from afar, but this is the first one I've been in the middle of and felt Mother Nature's fury. Standing in Atlantic City in two, three feet of water, 90 mile an hour winds ready to knock me down. I'll, I'll never forget that feeling, what it's like to literally almost be blown into the water. And it's humbling. Uh, you feel pretty small uh, when wind and rain is doing that to you. Um, it, it, it's those kind of images, the power and, and the ruined and shattered lives uh, coming out of it. You know, I had the chance to walk into the home of a mom and a son. This isn't their vacation home. This is their home. This is their life. And to uh, help them push open the door because the water in their house had turned everything upside down. Then there was literally a dresser in front of the door. And then to walk in and they're looking for any memories, anything that's irreplaceable, a baby picture, um, something. And to have a mom just try and be so strong, and her son too. Uh, but as we talked, the tears started to flow. And, and uh, you know, you, you, I gave her a hug as we left, and um, you know, I could feel, feel the tears on my shoulder, uh, just those tears of pain. You know, I, I'll, I'll never forget that. Just that we leave. We tell the story and we leave. And, and that was the sadness in my heart as I walked away from them and we helped them lift up the refrigerator and tried to do something. Uh, but I look back one last time and you could see that they were going to have a, a difficult time rebuilding their lives and a difficult time dealing with that grief. I'm encouraged too to see the scenes of people helping other people. Neighbors that never knew each other are now friends. Uh, to be standing here in the middle of the night after the hurricane and the National Guard comes pulling up. Moments later, five ambulance vehicles from Indiana made a 24-hour drive to help out. Uh, that's what we do. And one last image, not an official one, but probably more powerful. Five, six guys in a red pickup truck with, a, with an American flag in the back, patrolling their neighborhood, making sure everything's okay. When we do that, when we come together, we're going to be all right.